Hello again. Welcome and everyone else. We're back for sort of episode two, where we got interrupted. It wasn't the phone call I thought it was, but I took it anyway, and it went on for a little while. Um, so yeah, we're going to throw, throw down on another gun right there. We're going to do that. Uh, we got the resources. We're going to go ahead. We've got the electricity. We're going to go ahead. That gives our guns better self-supporting capabilities in there. I wonder if I'm a bit high on that, though. Maybe it should be a touch lower. Uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and we'll just cancel that right out. And we're going to go ahead and rebuild that uh, a bit lower down. So we'll put it... I don't know. I don't know. It's a questions, questions. guess it only needs cover from the one side, really, eh? That'll do for sandbags. Looks stupid, though. Looks dumb as I'll get out. But it is kind of straddling the old existing road, which I kind of like. I like that we're just blocking the road now. It's just like, yup, hi. So there we go. We got one more enemy tribe. Let's get one more minigun out. Or auto gun out. I don't think I'll go further than that. Power system strain. Oh, I've had to install so many batteries to deal with this new internal farm. Pretty happy with the old internal farm, though. Should keep our hay production simply cranking and allow us to grow more muffalo. Because uh, we have had a bunch of young females born just recently. And, uh, yeah, so they're going to get big over the course of about a year. And they are going to eat more. And, of course, we've got many of the pig. But we're going to let them become many of the more pig. If hay doesn't run low, we're going to let them breed like fury. Um, and I don't think hay's going to run low too soon. We're getting a lot of break risks that we didn't have before. And the big factor that's changed is we have more colonists. Um, so I'm wondering if they're getting less ability to enjoy themselves in the rec room, stuff like that. I don't know if they're getting less ability to enjoy themselves eating properly. It may be that people are not getting their meals at table. Um, Especially in the morning, I have noticed that people wake up hungry and they have to come all the way across the colony to get a meal at a table. So I could put in an eating table. I could actually reinstall a, like a morning kitchen in here. That could be doable. Not something I'm all that into doing because this storage isn't normally full of food, basically. Uh, yeah. So that's annoying. We do have some people getting meals at table. And we are keeping up okay. We're not getting those lavish meals, but we're keeping the fine meals rocking. I don't know if all four stoves are full getting used. Uh, let's just check our cooking roster while we're here. Now we've got a bunch of cooks, and nobody else is really brilliant at it. Atini's okay at it. Does he like it? I guess I'm going to need my colonist bar. Atini. Where are you, my lad? Oh, he actually likes it. Let's put him back on cooking. Sure. Too many cooks is fine here. You're teeny. You're back on cooking, bud. Because after all, we got lots of hands for all this other work, so... Let's well get another cook in. Maybe we'll catch up to our meals quota. Although, I think we, what we've done is we've used up all the animal products again, so we're not going to have any more nice meals, basically. They're just not going to happen. We've got our 54 lame meals, and, uh, yeah, that's all we're going to get till we get some more animal products in. We're not due for a boar sleigh just yet. Um, no, we're not, they're mature but and pregnant, but they're definitely not due for the old sleighing at this point. Uh, so we could, could, could go hunt, we could go hunt. There's probably some herds around. I haven't gone herd looking for a while. There's a bunch of dead human beings here that I've obviously decided to leave to rot. Since we don't often venture down here, the colonists aren't going to get bummed out by seeing them. We are not working any steel veins or anything down there. Uh, you know, I'm not seeing any viable animal herds. Here's Georgette bringing in a corpse, a human corpse. Uh, here's one of our wolves. Bringing in some of the only prey out here. Boy, I didn't even get nicked. Good job, Bailey. Oh, what the hell's going on now? Oh no, they're both eating. 
Oh, they're all eating it. Oh, neat. Oh, they ate the whole thing. It's gone. Good work, dogs. So the Arctic wolves and the timber wolf wolves, they're covered. Oh my god. Would you look at that? It's a double vein of steel. Uh, we're way north of the whole boar. We north of the colony. So that's a summer project. Um, Is there any way to suspend? Yeah, you forbid it. Because that'll show me where it is later. So I'm going to go ahead and put orders on to cut this right out of this mountain here. We're just going to take it. Oh, look at all that tasty steel. My goodness, I'm sure there's lots more in there. But then we're going to go ahead and forbid it. Can we do that? Orders. What's forbid? Isn't forbid in the orders? This is the orders, right? Yeah. It doesn't seem that forbid is in the orders. Uh, that's too bad. Can I... No, I can't... Oh, can I do it this way? Nope. Okay, I'll just have to cancel all that, because uh, it's, it's September. It's growing cold out. I don't want colonists encountering... Encountering... Encountering predatory animo. So I'll just try to remember that there's an absolute thick mountain of steel up there. Although these deep drilling deposits, ah, here we are, battery's getting low, are pretty great. We're getting towards done on that one. I'd better extend a little roof here. Let's go to zone area, expand build roof. And I'll put a little more roof for a battery just right here. We can throw a battery in sideways there. And I'll put in a fresh deep driller already here. So, uh, where did I just put that roof? Oh my god. Let me just make sure I didn't just. Yeah, that was dumb. Uh, that's probably not the. Uh, well, actually, no, that should be fine. That should be fine. Oh, well, wait, where was I going to put the deep driller? Up there. So, no, we're good. We're good. So, let's build a copy of that. We put it right up there to consume that chunk, because that's a nice full chunk. And we'll bring in the spare battery right now, and reinstall, turn it sideways, and I believe that's where I put it. That'll power both of those bad boys, and we'll get this one back to charge. Even though it's not empty, uh, so I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did it. That was me and I did it. Colonist needs treatment. Strange asthma attack, and he's about to go smoke one instead. And the hospital's still dirty. Do I need to get more janitors, or what? But the place is really clean, like... Uh, it's not 100% spotless, but... Considering the size of this operation, they're doing a remarkable job of keeping it clean. Right, I was checking cloth. We've got 593 left, so I bet we can carpet another room without impairing medication production, so... Here are two occupied rooms. This one's smaller, so we're going to go ahead and get floors. It's our carpet, and we'll see what it costs us. 392, we can totally do it. So there's another room carpeted. Nice. That makes me pretty happy. Randy's got to throw some trouble our way soon, but that's okay. I don't. Oh, look, they're eating in here. That's smart. Mm, I wish I could get another auto door in here without bringing in a skookerton of wiring. I do not want to run a wire under all the dogs' beds. We could just have such a disaster one night. Oh, we got breakdowns. Oh, and a smoke leaf binge. Scorpion Shaman is on a binge. One of our new recruits. And I don't want to run it across the floor because it'll spoil the look, so everyone's going to have to slow down for a basic steel door here. Too bad. We do have a lot of touches to get through. This area has way better ventilation than the preceding areas. I've been very attentive to corridor venting and cross venting, in fact. I'm seeing a place where I should probably almost have another corridor vent, and it's because of the risk of fire. I've had this superheated air problem a lot, uh, where colonists burn horribly because they're trying to put out fires in a hot hallway, and I'm thinking this endless venting will help with that, even though it cost a ton of steel to do it. Like, when you count up all those vents, it adds up to a lot of steel. Freezers are working fine. 
That's good. This freezer, I could actually... Um, Oh, there goes our new deep drill up. I could knock this out and save the power. Cargo pods. Okay. Ooh, what do we got here? Alpaca wool. We're not set to use it for anything. We're not selling it. We don't need wool. Forget it. We're not wasting even dog work cycles. Besides, we're short on dogs. Well, we could hunt those buffalo. Ah, we just need to get our milkers matured. So, this unit. Yeah, you're coming out, buddy. Let me get some in here to deconstruct that nice and quick, I think. And then we'll just start jamming in pieces of wall one by one, because that's the best we can do, basically. Because uh, they can't build a stack wall safely. They are not smart enough to do that. So, I'm sure someone's going to come here. Speedy, you constructor. Speedy's the lazy one. Oh yeah, nice. So we'll get some of that granite wall, and we'll put it in there as soon as Slowy here is done. We're on speed three. He's really new to the construction team, so, you know, points for trying, right? You can't get it wrong deconstructing, can you? No. Oh, snap dogs. Speedy, do you haul? Yeah, you do. Nice. I'm glad. Get that component. Uh, Harry has reached the biological age of 66. Oh, we do have an older one. Unfortunately, Harry has gained the following diseases due to aging. Frail. Uh, let's see what frail does to Harry. Uh, it's moving minus 30%, manipulation minus 30%. That is awful. That is rough stuff. Speedy, I'm going to need you now to haul that steel out. I don't care about thrift preserving it. I need you to get that out of there so we can... Uh, Business. Then we'll start getting the wall stacked in there. I mean, that's currently now unroofed outdoors, but the stuff is protected. It's not going to get damaged, I don't think. So that other battery's full already. We put out some serious electrical horsepower sometimes. This one's getting drained already with two things running off it. But maybe we'll pull more steel that way. That's nice, because I do use it up steady. Like, I really use it up. All right, nice. He's got a piece of wall in for us, so we can drop another one in right now. Get someone coming in on that. Soon we'll have a wall. Don't fail constructing it. Oh, thank you, son. Thank you. Soon we'll have a wall in there. Because we do not need to cool that space, so save ourselves, you know, like, I don't know, whatever the power consumption is on a cooler running on low or high, or what are these running on? Probably high. High and they're drawing 200. Let's see if we have one that's running on low anywhere. Probably not, given that people are in and out all the time, right? Uh, yeah, current power is high and we're not going to see it get low. Over here it probably was low because people don't go in and out of the um, clothing room a lot. Oh, really? You're not done building that? Uh, here comes Schwarz to build it. Schwarz. So we will get another one in as soon as. Are you not? You're serious? Reserved by Spider and Spider's Night Crew, so Spider will be finishing this build for us. No problem. What's that dog doing in there? Uh, getting cloth and taking it to the meds room, so we'll track the dog's progress here. There's the dog running through the corridors. And that dog will be taking that to the meds production area, because we've got a priority on cloth there. Look at that hard-working dog do that run. Pop! And it changed color. Yeah, it turned gray. That's a neat. Because that's probably bought in cloth. I bought cloth. And so that's be why it's a different color. So people are getting some use. They were socializing at the table there. Now let's get back over here a little quicker on one speed and then go back up. Yeah, we got that built. Nice. Throw in another one. We're going to fill it up. And make it as secure as we can. Because this back end is pretty attackable, basically. That's why we've minefielded it so heavily. The minefields tend to blow up all at once, but if there's a cluster of people there, well, that works just fine. The spider just got food poisoning, so I guess he's having dinner. Toad, what you up to? Drilling at deep drill. Toad, you're the man. Are you a night owl? I don't think you are. Night owl. So pretty soon he'll have night owl at night bonus. Um, I guess very soon he'll have night owl at night. And we do have him, obviously, on night work, because here he is working at night, so very soon. What's he doing? Cooking. Okay, Toad, go cook. Nice, we have a night cook. That's sweet. That is not built yet. 
We'll just, uh, you know, the night crew just, you know, there's not very many of them. Let's see how many we got. Oh my god, look at all this. Whoa. Oh no, we got a major disease. Major disease time. Good thing we got these hospital beds in. They'll help a little. Uh, so it's muscle parasites. Longshank is sick with muscle parasites, so we need to... I can't send him to bed. So he's going to have to get treatment on his own because he's still a prisoner. Uh, that's fine. Um, Cormorant is sick with them. So Cormorant, you're in hospital bed number one. We can ditch that. NG is sick with them. So we'll find NG in this mountain of bloody colonists we have here. NG. So useful. You're a good NG. Uh, rest until healed NG. And the next one is Horse. Another new fella. Okay, Horse, you're gonna have to get up out of bed and get in there. And we've got Zipulchura, our non-violent guy with the awesome Spanish name for Sepulchre. Um, you're gonna get in here and rest until healed. And we've got Beaver has gotten sick. Beaver is a new lady here. And Beaver is currently binging on smoke leaf and not available, so I'll leave the alert up for Beaver. Dietrich is down with the old muscle problem. Dietrich, go to bed. Uh, gosh, this is getting complicated, isn't it? Rascal! One of our mini gunners. Oh, Rascal, you Rascal. She got the first mini gun. So it's kind of a crappy mini gun. We've got some really good ones now. So, Rascal, you're in. You're in the club. The Muscle Parasite Club. Kiri. Wow, she's new too. Testy as a child. And get in there and rest. We haven't quite run out of beds yet, thank gracious. Shay is sick. Shay's a fast walker, so he'll get to bed quickly. Yeah, we're not quite out of beds yet. Boy, this is about as hospitally as the hospital gets, and Speedy is sick, and Speedy will be the slowest to bed. And we still have a bed left for old Beaver when Beaver's done. Uh, being an idiot wandering around. And we're going to have to get some people in to do the tending. So Thrip will be in tending NG right away. And Scarlet, your in tending Actually, Scarlet, you're so awful at medicine. Uh, wow. Uh, Roya didn't get sick. So Roya, your in tending is up. Sure. Just gonna keep on trying this out. We got some more in, so let's get some more tenders in who can do the work. Strange didn't get sick. Tiger didn't get sick, and I think Tiger can do medical. So let's find Tiger here. Check him out. Yeah, good at medicine. Get in there. Tend to Shay. Uh, okay, let's find Spider's good at medicine. I don't think he got sick, so get in there. Tend to horse. And is a teeny any good at medicine? Not really. Strange note. Sepultura is, but it's down sick. So we need Kiri tended right now. With someone who isn't sick. Did Scorpion go down sick with this? Yeah, resting. Um, let's check health. No, just stoned and got food poisoning. So Scorpion, you're in for Kiri. And now Speedy needs a tender. We're just going to get someone in for everyone if we can do. So Toad's not sick. Uh, sucks at medicine pretty bad. Cormorant's sick. Setsuka's not sick. She's not awful at medicine, so... We're going to get her in to do Speedy here. I mean, she's not great at medicine, but she's kind of a wreck at, wreck at it, actually. Beaver. Is Beaver off the... Um, Devil weed now. I think Beaver is off the devil weed now. So Beaver, come on and get this last bed, please. And we're gonna just see if anyone lying here needs tending. Reserved, reserved. Okay, Rascal needs tending, so we'll just jam that on the stack. Now, does anyone else here need tending? Okay, Tiger's got shake. Kiri's done. Speedy's done. 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 So, Beaver's coming to bed though, so I'm actually going to bring Thrip back. She's good at medicine, right? Yeah, she's brilliant at medicine, so I'm going to bring her back. And 
and she's gonna start tending to more people here. Get this all done, you know. Okay, and Thrip, can you tend to Beaver? I think that gets us almost done. Oh, here's Scorpion coming in sick. So. Is Scorpion sick? No. Well, Scorpion was supposed to tend someone, wasn't it? They? Oh, so did someone not get tended? Did they break off? No, that's reserved. Reserved by Scorpion. What's Scorpion doing? Tending to carry. He's getting like crud supplies out. I guess because these were reserved. So I'm going to go dink dink and then I'm going to do that again and see. Yeah, now they come back for the good supplies. It's because the other ones were reserved on us. That's why Spider's getting these crud supplies too. That's a shame. So that is everyone covered. We can take Beaver off. Our orbital trade beacon has broken down. And they're going to be in and out of hospital. Quality 29% on the 10 there. That's pretty sad, man. They're going to be in and out of hospital on that. And that was a hard night for everyone. It's 4 a.m. and everyone's been up working all night now. So it's a tough night. Oh, and Longshank probably didn't get bloody tended. Because he's... Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh no, he got tended in the background somehow here. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that's full sweet. Beaver's now exhausted. Hopefully they can get to bed. Hopefully the scheduling isn't so punishing that they're going to end up trying to get up and work. You know, Everyone will get at least a little rest. Poor Beaver. Bedroom's a mile away too. Yeah, married to a teeny, or about to be married to a teeny, I think. So hopefully Beaver gets a little rest. Cause they've got exhaustion on their ticker. Alright, well, that went as well as could be expected. Batteries are down a little bit overnight. Uh, we're back into positive power production as the solars come up. Our new turret is in and on. And that's all I'm going to do for additional defense right now. But I do think we did need another one up there. These ones have been doing fairly well taking care of themselves. The guys tend to get here and start tickering at that one. and It's working okay. I mean, I could put another one in here too. Materials. I'm gonna go ahead. Let's just get safe. So we're gonna put another one in at the middle range period here. Cause they don't block the solar panels. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that in. Give ourselves a little extra coverage there as well, I think. And we can probably afford the power there. 350 watts each is not a disaster. Okay, that battery's got some juice in it. Good, good. Nobody's even... Oh no, someone's gone 65% to the first lump on that one. So That'll keep the steel coming in, which is great. Because we have a bunch of stuff we really need to do um, that takes steel. Uh, such as build out these rooms properly, get them with lights, heaters, vents. So they're proper built-out rooms for, well, long shanks. Longshank's going to sleep with Schwartz because they're actually already married. They might get divorced. Hey, look, I missed some flooring. It happens. Grab the limestone tile, bang it in there, bang it in there, bang it in there. And I'm not decided which ones are doorways there, so we won't do it there yet. But, yeah, we'll get those cleaned up. Make it look a little nicer. And I'll finish these hallways up and stuff. Oh, we ran into a room down here. And I don't know if I got an ancient danger warning on it or not, but it looks like it's an open room inside. Like, you can see kind of an edge there. I don't think that's just a buried wall. So I'm pretty sure when we crack that we're going to find something, so I'll do that, but I'm a little nervous. With good reason. Here's Kiri doing a sculpture at the high skill bench. We sold a lot of sculptures. Are we building some up? Oh, yeah, we're building some up. Oh, my God. Hey, a masterwork. Let's check it out. Dozens of tomatoes with a dead trout smiling in the background. That makes me hungry, frankly. I don't think we'll need to put that in. We got a lot of sculpture in this room. Oh, we're still needing one face-shaped one. Let's see if we can find a high-grade face-shaped one. No, that's just good level. Good level. How about this? Poor level. So we don't have another face-shaped one for that. Uh, set down here, you know? Kind of wanted things to look right. It's okay, we're good for now. I'll look through them, I guess, better when 
they go up for sale, it's easier to look at them then. Ground penetrating scanner broke down. Okay, I want to test the software here. We'll see if uh, clicking the deep drill still gives us a scan. Nope. No, it takes the scan off. Interesting. Neat. So yeah, you can deep drill blind in the game if you want to and just build drills. Dogs don't have far to haul that steel. Nice. Nice. Oh, look at that steel. So excited. We've got a good amount of stone out from all that digging, too. And I cut more wood, because we needed wood. We're okay on mortar shells. Components are the big thing. We've got pretty much everything else. Let's check our food total. Oh, we're up to 20,000. Oh, wow. That's a lot of food, man. We've got overproduction going on food here. When that corn comes in, we're going to be crazy with food. Well, that's okay, but uh, we need to be able to cook better meals. Like, you know, look, they're using up the only milk in the house. There's eight milk in storage, three milk in storage. That's the only thing they can use to make those good meals. And we're just not getting it in fast enough to keep the cooking cranking, I think. It's disappointing for everyone concerned. However, these young muffler females will mature up. Let's just check them. Yeah, Muffalo 5 self-tamed, that's why it's an adult. So we've got this many young females coming in, and I think we've got the hay production to handle them. Uh, we could slaughter boars, but I think I'll wait till they start giving birth. And the wolves haven't given any births. That's okay, we're doing good here. This is a video where the colony is quietly prospering, which is unusual. Usually we're getting shrecked by something horrible. Uh, I wouldn't mind a bulk trader. I guess we're not... Hey, let's try calling those guys who just went enemy with us. Let's try our Georgette. She's usually our best social choice. And we're going to try calling those guys and see if we can't bribe them back into liking us. Because negative 84, just because they lost their own guys in a bloody accident. It's pretty unfair in my books. No, he hurls some... Samuel Pye Blantz hurls some epithets into the microphone and disconnects. So now we've got no one we can call for anything. They all hate the hell out of us. Damn, man. I don't know what to say. We have not made friends. Well, we lost that other tribe by capturing people who were down, because I didn't know what else to do with them. Plus, I wanted them. I was greedy. But uh, these guys, they did it to themselves, man. They... Okay, we got a starvation on Angie. Uh, he's consuming a fine meal. Oh, she is consuming a fine meal. And right in range of the kitchen. Moving kind of slow, Angie. What's the old health here? Muscle parasites. So, pain plus 20%. Um... Manipulation minus 30%, moving minus 30%, tiredness times 200%. We'll need tending in one day, four hours, and she's got trivial malnutrition, which is also cranking her hunger up and stuff like that. So that's sucking pretty hard for us right now. It's really going to cripple our capability to get stuff done. I guess it's not the time to ask the colonists for any kind of big build out, but. Uh, I don't think we need anything really big built out. Uh, I think if I've got enough, I've got 877 bricks. I might finish this patch of paving if I've got enough sandstone. So let's just check. So go from here to here. Oh, it's just a bit too much. We still need another few, and we don't have any sandstone left to cut. And in fact, it's cold out. And I'm going to turn off um, our stone blocks bill for now because we do not want people walking out to get some random stone block. Uh, we really, really don't. And the same for smelting. We don't want them walking out to get some random uh, slag chunk. It's not worth the steel to get attacked by a bear or something. It, ow! Because it's winter. Or it's not winter, but it's September. And it's uh, 13 below out. And there's a dusting of snow on the ground. Great, there's our new gun in. Helping us stay safe at night. New recruit, we got long shanks. Sweet. 11% chance. Yeah, we were kind of bound to get him. And now we're really going to have to turn off the colonist park because Speedy's been forced down to the middle here. So long shanks, a grunt character. A war refugee as a child and a low wage worker as an adult. 
He's incapable of violence. He's very neurotic and he's a psychopath. I like him. Uh, he loves an or he likes animals and he's good at it. He likes medicine. He's okay at it. He likes cooking. He's good at it. This is great. He likes growing. He's good at it. He likes art a lot. He's not great at it, but we'll let him do it. And he likes crafting a lot and he's good at it. So, oh my god. He's fantastic. I mean, maybe he's a little over age for the workforce here, but... Dude, he's fine. Yeah, he can get doctoring one. For sure. Uh, wardings four for everyone who doesn't have social. So he liked animals. He can be an animal handler. He likes cooking. He can be a cook. He's gonna be a busy monkey. Constructing, he doesn't need to do. Growing, he likes it and he's good, so he can definitely be a grower. Smithing, he's probably not at nine. He's not high enough, but he's definitely high enough to get on the tailoring team and on the crafting team and he likes art so we're just gonna go ahead and let him do all that stuff and let him choose between cleaning and hauling for his other back duties which he's not gonna have time for with that schedule uh... he's going to sleep with Schwartz because that's his wife So we'll check his needs change right here so we got long shanks needs want to sleep with Schwartz, opinion of my wife Schwartz now I'll take this bed and set it, and we'll add long shanks to it, and then we'll check his needs. And where is he? Oh boy, long shanks needs. Want sleep with shorts? Go click clack, click clack. There it's gone. He's sick and in pain and has serious cabin fever. Not a shock, but I don't think I'll take him outside right now. So those guys are settled in a fine bedroom, which needs a sculpture. They can have this masterwork. Why not? Pop it in there. Probably make someone jealous of their gun bedroom, but that's fine. And he's got tattered apparel and stuff. We've got to fix all that stuff for him. So he's not a night owl, so we're going to go ahead and give him a standard schedule. Right like that. Good old Longshanks. Welcome to the colony. Very glad to have you aboard, sir. Your duties will not be onerous. Uh, outfit 5, I think he's a shooter, I better check. Drug policy 5, yeah, let's check his weapons capacities. Character incapable of violent, so outfit 5 is actually wrong. He should be wearing outfit 6, because outfit 6 allows for shield belts. Um, so outfit 6, and flee from violence, yes, flee, flee from violence. So I think we're pretty much set with Longshanks. He's got a place to sleep and a work schedule. And we put him on his outfit choice there, so... Oh, we should probably just check what he's doing. Ah, he's wearing a cloth parka poor. Now he's going to take off his t-shirt instead, so that's great. A synthroid t-shirt will sell for a buck if a ship comes before we burn it. But we'll probably burn it. There's our animal fleet asleep, and that is our whole animal fleet. They do need to breed up. Oh no, here's a few latecomers. One's coming through there, two coming through the armor doors here of our arctic wolves, out late hunting or whatever. So the timber wolves have outnumbered them, but it's not a bad balance. The arctic wolves are doing okay. Two new arctic wolf pups here. There's some young timber wolves that are juvenile but mature at this point. So Longshanks doesn't need a gun, and we're not manufacturing shield belts right now there a little expensive to make and they'll just wear out on us our hospital is still filthy so actually I'm gonna go back to work and I'm gonna give Longshanks a cleaning priority over Colin this is gross dude so 98 components let's see what a vitals monitor costs because we are doing really good on steel right now and I'm just itching to spend it so vitals monitor costs us here we are. Oh, it doesn't cost any components. So, 10 of these will cost me 1,800 steel. I have got myself here 5,000 steel. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put vitals monitors in all the way through the hospital. And hopefully that doesn't stop people from being able to interact with the beds. Do I need one here? How with it we're having it. Uh, do I actually need that one, though? Like, can it reach two beds? Check it. One medical bed can be linked to only one vitals monitor, so we need one per bed. So we've got one and bed, one and bed, one and bed, one and bed, one and bed. 
And then we got the same here, but we are missing the final vitals monitor due to lack of space. Which is a bit of a downer. That is a Digby downer. Uh, I could rearrange this bed to be vertical here. <laughs> Stick a vitals monitor beside it, but not too sure about that. It might not look as good that way. It kind of looks good this way. We might just be short one vitals monitor and live with it. So that's pretty expensive build right there anyway. That's a costly build. Oh, and they draw juice. So we just spent a bunch of electrical power that we're not even sure of yet. Oh, man, it's dirty in this place. Like, why is the hospital always the dirtiest place in the whole colony? Seriously, guys? Like, note to devs, can you please, like, have them clean the freaking hospital first? I don't dare switch anyone's hauling and cleaning priorities right now. Hunterbreaker stands starvation. Hannah and Beaver both. So Hannah, get out of bed and go eat. And Beaver. I, uh, oh, you know, and Hannah doesn't get rest as well because she has a crap bed. She has a normal quality bed. Let's see if there's a better one in storage. Good and good. Yeah, so we are going to give her a slightly improved bed without trying to build one. We've got a slightly better bed for her right here. So let's just install it so it's going to look reasonable here. I don't know, fine, and we will uninstall that bit. Take it out. And try to remember to reassign Hannah to her bed and Beaver starving. Uh, right now I have to go actually manually find Beaver. I'll get used to where they are. It's all changes every time you get a call on us. So Beaver, get up and eat. Yeah, what quality is that bed? Superior, so she's getting rest at a higher level. Because the beds give you better rest recuperation level right battery empty better rest recuperation level um, basically I don't have two bits of roof for the bloggart I'll have to uninstall this one first to do this in two stages not how I like to do it I should build another bit of roof I guess right now so let's go ahead and I think we can just stretch it out for it like that I think that'll work, it's not going to collapse, and then we can stick that battery underneath the bit of roof that they will build, probably quickly enough to preserve the battery from blowing up in the rain, which it can do. Kerblam, basically. Hey, grass. okay, this I gotta grab. So, this must be a spot that doesn't get enough light right here. Um, oh, the lights just went out. No, they're just coming on, so... Lit 50%, so that spot right there uh, is getting paved uh, because I'm not doing flowers in this one so that's granite flagstone in there so th that right there is getting paved because the hay grass is uh, that's the second time I've seen that warning come up and I meant to track down the spot and get it because there's why did he plant a spot with granite flagstone on it well that's fine Go ahead and do that, you freaks. Look, Scarlet's using up the last jolt of juice in there. Nice. I bet they built that roof already. No, nope, they didn't. Well, whatever. It's not going to blow up. We're okay. Using up the last bit of juice in there. They still haven't gotten the first chunk out. I guess it's pretty slow going. It depends on mining skill. So, yeah. And that battery's gone, so... There's that roof. Good. And it's not collapsing. And someone's on their way out with the other battery right now. Perfect. Good work, Tiger. Look, they passed each other with the batteries, and they chatted as they passed with the batteries. That was cute. Here's our wolves working away. Well, Randy's seen fit not to wreck us. I'm really surprised no one's built that yet. Well, we're still burning clothing here, man. All these dead people we hauled in, eh? Like just mountains of it. Okay, it looks like we're actually really short clothing now. It's tribal wear is hanging around in there. I don't know what's going on with that. It should be getting burned. Maybe I'll have to make a separate bill for tribal wear. I don't know. I thought it would be getting burned. Wow. Um, major build project going on here. I probably should have built these all next to the steel pile. And then brought them in and installed them. But they might get wrecked by the rain. I don't know. They might, or they might not, don't know. That is a big build. That's going to keep us busy for a while, but 
it does mean that let's see what it does um, oh there you are medical 10 quality offset plus seven percent immunity gain speed factor plus two percent and then the bed gives us surgery chance success factor 110 percent oh and it reduces the infection chance factor it's 34 percent right now let's see what else it does and medical tend quality offset 17 percent oh no that's I really don't know I'm a little confused but either way this should improve our recovery from pretty much everything and improve our treatment for pretty much everything solar Jenny went down opponents are ugly man 96 right now well, we do have steel enough to build them. Wow, we went from 5,000 to 3,700. Mad animal elk. Some sort of psychic wages have swept over the landscape. Your colonists are okay, but it seems many of the elks in the area have been driven insane. We've got a troop of manhunter elks. We've got three of them incoming. I am going to do nothing about it and let the colony handle its business here and hope nothing bad happens. They're just heading straight for us. They're not even melee attacking anyone right now. I'm watching their stat here. So they're coming in from the normal attack side where most people attack us. So they are going to come under pretty much heavy fire when they get here. And we'll see what they do. Cargo pods. Wow, which gun just opened up? It was like one of these ones? I'm not even... No, it's this one that just opened up. Cargo pods will jump to... What's that? Labrador fur. Uh, sure, we'll let the... No, no, I don't want colonists out right now. We'll leave it for good. So we'll see what happens to these elk. Here they come. They're full incoming. One down. Two down. Oh, that one's attacking the gun. These dogs are going to get shot. Man, that gun's giving it all kinds of hits, but it's not down, eh? All right, and the sword is on it, too. The Olga actually finished that job. Good work, man. Oh, look, this elk has... It's gone back to wandering. What's its health? Oh, uh, it's got a permanent injury to its brain. Latchy. Kill that elk with your sword. Go about your business. Olga's still busy killing this elk. Are you serious right now? Like it, This is the elk that won't die. Let's check its health. Okay, it is finally dead, so Olga can be undrafted, actually. But I want to check that elk's health. So, two cuts of the longsword to the neck. Gunshot to the head. Gunshot to the nose, left ear cut off, right ear cut off, three gunshots to the body from the turret, two gunshots to the body from an assault rifle, two long sword cuts to the body. Um, an assault rifle gunshot to the right lung, and a gun improvised turret gunshot to the right lung, a turret gunshot to the spine, front right leg cut off, rear right leg cut off, and rear left leg, two gunshots from the turret, and a long sword cut front left leg two longsword cuts and front left hoof cut off. That took some killing. That was one tough elk. So well, oh look, this one's still alive. I thought Latchy was done with it. But he just downed it. He didn't finish it. So. See if it takes him an hour to kill it. I don't know, what's his melee skill? Pretty good. He's at 11. I don't think they gain from doing that. You're free to go, sir. Well, I guess that's a pretty lackluster note to end things on. I'll give it a minute and see if anything else happens. Nice to get the meat. Oh, it looks like the corn came in. We're probably at 20 jillion food now. We're at 22,000. We're about to run into a storage problem for our food. So, that's interesting. I'm not sure what I should do if I should um, change some other production around or just put in more devil strand in here and start really bringing it in as with this corn's done yeah let's let the corn come in actually let's just harvest the corn now let's convert this to devil strand right now oh, you know what no 
know, I don't know. Like, what if that tail spins food? Well, actually, it doesn't matter if it tail spins food because we've got a lot in stock, so. Oh, it's a whole plot. It's just coming in. And I really wanted some corn in the place. But, geez, our food stock's almost full. Uh, I guess I can make more food storage, but that's a, you know, that's a never-ending journey, isn't it? I guess I could throw some extra food storage up on here. Easy enough. Oh, yeah, I need to put another bit of uh, wall in here. It's the last one. Good. Pop that in. Well, the Devil Strand conversion thing, it is kind of a tempting thought, isn't it? Yeah, it really is a tempting thought, because 22,000 food and running out of storage. So actually, yeah, that's the deciding factor. I'm going to have a storage problem on my hands, so I'm going to plant that out to Devil Strand right now. And yeah, Bob's your uncle. And that's all 100% fertility, I think. Yeah, it is all 100% fertility. It's nice, good soils. Even over here. Yep, it's nice, good soil over there. So we'll put that all to Devil Strand and see what that does for us. Maybe it'll make us very rich indeed. Let's see if we got any more Devil Strand hats in. No, we just got two, a good and an excellent. Nice, man. A good looking hat. Okay, so how are we going to burn this tribal war that's at 80%? That's, it's a percentage thing, isn't it? Uh, so we're going to need a fresh burn apparel bill. So we're going to do a burn apparel bill. Details it. Uh, clear all. Allow non-dead mans. Yes. And we're just going to burn tribal wear at all qualities. And that'll get that chunk out of there quick enough. So that should work. Cause, yep, I'm tired of seeing tribal wear lying around in the, uh, in the thing popper here. And there's three of them in there. Let's get them done. Cormorant's uh, eating a meal somewhere. Oh, it looks like he might go eat in the rec room, eh? Yep, let's watch him. He's moving so slow from these muscle parasites, eh? And exhaustion is on for Dietrich, yeah. Cormorant's getting a nice meal. Solar flare! Let's watch the colony shut off. Yeah, we'll watch all the lights go down. We're not going to worry about losing a crop. We're not going to lose the Devil Strand crop because it's in the ground. So that's a bonus. Um, but we're going to lose all the hydro crops. Uh, we got Sepulchre and NG up for treatment. I'm thinking it's probably the muscle parasites, so we're going to send them both to hospital here. Uh, i got to find NG. NG. Hello, NG. There you are. NG, get on in here too. So. Damn, that deactivates our uh, brand new vitals monitors we just built, which draw 150 watts each. <gasps> Whoops. I just put like over 1500 watts draw on, okay. I might want to toss another fan on despite not being able to pay for it. Kind of just pop another fan on. Oh no, you know, no. We'll just see. I had, a, I had pretty good bounce in the power system. Oh no, they're all... Do I have to manually get them all up? I'm going to draft get them. I'm going to go bomp bomp. And we're going to see if they get up and go for treatment now. Yeah. I think that got them to come into hospital. Uh, let's check another one of them, Shay. Oh, some of them went back to... Is Shay's building a snowman? Shay, get in here. Oh, am I going to have to do this all manually? Yeah, I am. Just gonna bring them in all manually then. Oh, so, oh no, a lot of them are coming in on their own, so. Uh, maybe I'll just let them do it then. No, it's not like it's fatal disorder. So we'll just let them do it and we'll let people care for them and we'll kind of watch it happen here, see what kind of percentage we get. Scorpion the Shaman did a 74% 10, that's pretty sweet. And, you know, this will give a lot of. An eclipse on top of the. Uh, an eclipse on top of the thing. We're really going to be low on power for a while here. I wonder how the batteries were when the power went out. We'll find out in a minute. So Angie's giving treatment, and it looks like not very good treatment. 3.6% uh, quality treatment. Nice job, Angie. You're really on the ball. Uh, well, that's whatever. Is someone going to come treat Dietrich? Do we have anybody up? 
Oh, it's 6 a.m. Ah, someone will come. Oh, Longshank's doing it. Now, he sucks at medical, but he likes medical. Boy, maybe I should make a third stash of medicine here, because here's another one in with herbal. Good work, Scorpion. Cleaning up after the mess. That's sweet. It's a raid. A group of outlanders from Sovereign Pact of Rehados have arrived nearby, and they want to use sappers to tunnel around our defenses. Jump to location. Okay. They are going to be here before we can shell them, I'm guessing. Um, I might man the guns anyway, just to see if we can get a couple rounds off on them. I don't think the guns need power, so should be good on that. So, he's a good shot. Get on a gun. Um, Shea. Crappy shot. Well, not crappy, but not brilliant. Rubber. Pretty good shot. Get on a gun. And you're just going to try to get this done quick, you know. Like, try to get at least a couple rounds in. So, Thrip. Thrip's a fine shot. So, that's great. So, we'll man those mortars. We're going to save up in our back slot here. You know, just in case it goes horribly wrong, I'm pretty attached to this colony, and if everyone dies, you know, spoiler. But I'll certainly let a few people die if necessary. So we're going to man up those guns and see if we can get them rocking. Chappers, what the hell are you doing right now? Training a dog. Well, he'll probably be okay. Here they are. So we got our guns, man. Let's see what they do. Keep an eye on them. So they are coming straight in. I'm not sure what their intention is moving right now. They're just moving. Let's see if we can get a couple airmail packages to them, eh? Uh, yeah, they're still moving in. They're getting closer and closer. They're about to engage the southern turrets, I think. They may get tied up with the turrets for... Oh, the turrets are out! Dude, that's not good news. Are they going to come in back here or something? Well, I don't know. Let's get shelling, kids. Here it comes. Ah, oh, yeah. Nice, we got a hit. We got a hit. We took one out and I think probably injured one or two others. So we'll keep shelling them for the moment. Okay, he's he's, he's heading up. Oh, he's coming in. Okay, we're going to have to unman the turrets and bring everyone in right now. So everybody's drafted. Everybody's out. And then we'll start getting set up a little better once we're getting people out here. So... Make sure we get swordsmen up off to the side and gunners down to the front, basically, as they come out. We'll just try not to get everything all screwed up. Assault rifle, bring them up to the front. Let's do what we can here. i got to stay in control of my own people, so I can't really watch those guys just yet. He's got a snip, so he can come to a back position. Rascal's got a minigun. He needs to come to a front position right now. She, rather. Uh, Scorpion's got assault. Come in down here. Uh, we've got some more folks here, another assault coming down here, and we got perfect here, you're, you're settled, you're settled, uh, gotta get people in, yeah, we gotta get people in here, swordsmen up to the sides, so yeah, rubber, yeah, you're good, and Shay. Try getting up here. Itini, you're going to get in up here. Because I have a feeling they're coming on that side, although I'm not sure. And yeah, we're going to keep on distributing folks. Let's check the enemy's position. Oh, they are moving up into here. Damn, reman those guns right now, man. Reman those guns right now. So. Damn, that was my mistake, eh? That was my mistake. We should still be shelling them then. I uh, made a terrible mistake. I'm going to have to bring a big group of people in. Oh, no. We're going to totally get killed here. This is... I've made a terrible mistake. Terrible mistake. We better get on these guns per quick again. Damn. I've been a fool. I've been an absolute fool, man. Absolute fool. There's a shooter. Uh, maybe we'll still get a couple rounds on him, eh? Okay, we're going to let everybody else finish coming outside for now. I could send the swordsmen in for a close assault, but they'll probably get wrecked by these guys have sap or weaponry, right? Uh, I've still got this one, yeah. These guys have got sap or weaponry, so we're going to bring everything out, out here for now. And yeah, they're going to head in this way, eh? That's interesting. So shelling those guys is going to be pretty effective. 
Speedy's cleaning dirt? Oh, it didn't get drafted. Come up and join the group, okay. Okay, they're going to be hard to hit in here. I don't care if they dig their way into the art room, frankly. Uh, they're about to. They're definitely digging their way into the art room, and they're doing it fast. So we're going to have to come in there after them, because they're going to get in and start setting fire to the base, aren't they? And we're never going to hit them with these mortars. No, not in time, so... We better get... Uh, jeez. I better get a sword team in there. Yeah, I think I better take a sword team in. So we're gonna have to grab all the swordsters out somehow. Uh, how do we do this? Oh, because I don't want to just go en masse into the hallways. We're gonna get ruined in there. I guess we're going en masse into the hallways and getting ruined because... Or maybe we'll go en masse at them from behind. Now that ain't dumb. Let's come at them from behind. Let's, let's hold this pass here. That's gonna work. That's gonna work. We'll hold this little pass here and we'll get busy on their butts. Maybe we shouldn't be shelling ourselves. That might be an option. Oh, the guns are demand except Pony. He's still firing, so... Get down here, Pony, and what about the other gunners? Are they actually still firing? Damn, yeah, Strange is firing. Oh boy, yeah, we're kind of end up blowing ourselves to Shreks here. And I don't know who was on South Turret. I assume we just grabbed them, though. Yeah, how you like this, boys? Oh, yeah, how you like that? I guess that last shell came in handy after all, eh? Oh, they're fleeing, but we've got them trapped. That's... Uh, yeah, we could have a problem with that, couldn't we? I think we'd better get ourselves the hell out of their way. Uh, let's get everyone. And get them to back out and let those guys go, eh? Let's let them run. Because we've got wounded here. So we're going to get out of their way and let them get out of here. And we might rescue their damaged guy here. Let's just take a look at him. So, I'm for bit those bodies, a bit of silver, some guns, a bit more silver, some guns, some guns, and Maverick. Left leg shot off. We are not keeping you, I'm afraid. So, I'm going to grab the rest of us and I'm going to move us into safety here. I'm going to bring us all into safety here and just get us away from these guys because. I feel pretty lucky that we got away with that. Okay, we're now undraftable because we're away from them and we won't attack them. So, see how bad we're hurt. Scarlet lost a. Oh, wow. He almost lost a leg. He's taken two pump shotguns and he's pretty badly hurt. I'm going to get him to get into hospital right away. Um, Thrip. Taking a shotgun blast to the shoulder, she's not bad off. Um, Scorpion, shotgun blast to the torso, not too bad off. Spider, uh, shotgun blast to the shoulder, not bad off. Good, we got off light, eh? And he's lost an eye permanently to an assault rifle. It's almost completely destroyed. Uh, so we're going to need to get him an eye. Her. Him. Her? Him. Vulture needs an eye. Vulture need eye. So, let's get everyone into bed there. And I'm afraid we're just going to let Chumpy die because we don't have the resources to take care of a pirate. And the solar flare is ending, but we've got an eclipse on, so depending on the state of our batteries, we'll last either four seconds or three seconds. Mm. Poison ship, really? Are you fucking kidding? Are you serious with me right now? Are you serious with me right now? Okay, who's available? Who's not? Holy crap. I don't even know what to say. We need some gunners. This is dreadful. 
Okay, we need so we need even mediocre gunners at this point, I think. We're just gonna need any bodies we can get onto these guns that are available who can shoot decently. So we'll go ahead and get them onto all these mortars. Uh yeah, sure. And everyone else is going to have to take care of themselves. And I'll set a fixed target on one of those mortars right now. And get a round in on Captain Shippy Pants. And as soon as we get a round in and hit it, it'll burst. And yeah, so let's hope that works out for us. Let's hope we hit it quick, eh? Okay? I don't want people to... Oh, major break risk times everybody. Seriously, exhaustion times everybody. Maybe a better set of force on all the turrets. Yeah, otherwise it's going to take all night to breach it. So we're going to have to set a forest on all these turrets right now, and then we're going to have to clear the forest and allow them to fire after that. So go ahead and just get everything coming in here that I can get. And I hope the turret operators stay on the job. I'm going to have to keep an eye on them. Because uh, they might not. Everyone's pretty stressed right now. So let's see how we do here. Save the game. Saving the regular slot the hell with it. Boonk. Missed. Come on, guys. You got a lot of chances. Cargo pods. The hell with them. Come on, guys. Toast it. They just need to breach it and get the centipedes out. And then we can start firing on those. Damn it, come on, guys. This is terrible. We're wasting so many shells on this, but I don't want to send people up to do it, you know? How many we got? We got 120. We'll be able to buy some more, make some more. We're good. We need chem fuel and steel to make them when we got those things. Damn it, would you hit the damn thing? Would you please hit the thing? There we go, they're out. So, and there's quite a few of them. So, we're going to clear our force targets. Uh, they should be on fire at will, I hope, just automatically. Because we don't need to wreck the ship as bad as we need to wreck those guys. And yeah, we're gonna end up having to bring everybody else in because those scythers will be here in no time, eh? Let's see how the turrets do with them. Let's hope we get some of those popper rounds in. Come on, guys, don't give up on me here. Don't give up on me here, guys. Oh, they better still be on the turrets. What was that? Oh, they're making little noises. Got stunned a couple, that's good. They make little chirping sounds, I didn't realize. Oh man, we're not doing well. We're not doing well at all. At least they haven't really gotten alert to our presence yet. Oh man, are we stinking at the firings? A wild boar has given birth. Now that's a charming message to get. Look at these things. It's got a minigun, it's got a charge lance. These things have charge lances. That's got a repeating charge gun. Inferno cannon, a superior quality. Oh, that's nice. That'll be fun. Would you guys please get these people? Okay, we stunned those guys back. Uh, that guy's melee attacking a plasteel turret, so that's... I'll just try to watch both things happen. Good, we tagged one of those. Thank goodness. we got to get them wrecked. So he's going to start taking fire off our turrets. And he's going to wreck the turrets, basically. But, hopefully the turrets are going to wreck him a little. We'll just hope he doesn't work his way in, basically. Yeah, the turret's tagging him. Have we still got people on our guns? Uh, operating turret. Operating turret. Operating turret. And, operating turret. Operating turret. Great. I knew I should have built more turrets. How bad hurt is this Scyther? He's just been lightly nicked. Well, he'll stay in a fight with those for a while. Hopefully we stay on these guys and don't shell the scyther, you know? Oh, everything jumped for a minute there. Oh, come on, they're going to come out of stun in a minute, man. Oh, no, what? We started shelling this guy. 
That was a mistake. I guess that's what we're shelling now. Are you serious with me right now? This is dumb. Why don't they shell the other guys, eh? Are we still working on our turrets? Yeah, we're still working on our turrets. Well, maybe they'll hit him with a shell and take him out, eh? He stuns now. Great. That's wonderful. What about these guys up here? Oh, God. The shooting quality. So bad. Okay, he's down incapacitated. That should have our guys. Oh, no. And they're active again. These guys are active now. So that's not cool. That turret handled the one scyther okay. So now we got the other scyther coming in. He's going to kill a dog or ten. Nice. Have we still got our people on our guns here? Yep, we do. Stunned that guy. Nice. We're having a lot of luck. Oh, that did some harm. Yeah, did him some serious damage. A wanderer joins. A villager, na villager named Arshis has arrived and is joining the colony. He is a taxonomist. Arshis. Interesting timing, son. So he's busy wearing a shirt, and his path is taking him right past the centipedes. So, Arshus, you're drafted. Go here. Thank you. Because you don't really want to walk into the middle of this. We're going to save with him, because now we're getting a ludicrous number of colonists. It's pretty funny. These guys are, like, fixing the turrets. Uh, yeah, let's hope they don't really stick on that. Let's hope they don't stick on that, because we've got centipedes incoming. We are going to have to draft and fight them, and everyone's going to die, basically. This is horrible. I really wish we'd hit them. We are not shooting well here. We're not shooting that badly, either. You know, it's not a bad idea that they're out repairing the turrets right now, even though this thing is getting closer and closer here. Someone's on a smoke leaf bench. That's handy. Jeez Louise, are we in trouble. Thrip's fully healed, that's handy. Setsuko, I think you'd better go inside. Yeah, good, go inside. Yeah, that thing's gonna take out the turrets. Essentially. Arshes, you are really stupid, son. How about you go here to start with? Name of God, eh? We're down to 89 shells. Did we tag it? We stunned it. Okay, I'm going to have to hunt Arshus down and keep working with him. Yeah, I'm just going to have to keep working with him. Okay, it's a good thing we had some heavy weapons in place because otherwise we'd be really out of luck right now. Are our gunners given up yet? Oh yeah, I think one of our gunners gave up. Yeah, Messina, right, he went binging. I should have been watching. Okay, we need someone in who can shoot right now, man. Already you're in. Right now. Uh, these guys are still on their guns, though. I don't care about their break risks, man. We just need someone shooting right now, dude. Okay, Ash and Braid Breeder, whatever your name is. Arshus. Continue now to here, please. And don't... Oh, god damn, there's a Scyther down here. How did it get down here? Oh no, Arshus. I think you're between a rock and a hard place, son. Uh, how's your needs? Oh, you're in decent shape. Uh, I'm gonna get you to come over here, bud. Yeah, otherwise you're gonna have an unhappy meeting with that unhappy pappy there. Nice shot. Oh, it did stun him, I think. That one tagged him. Stunned him again, too. Okay, he's a little bit nicked. Captain Inferno Cannon's heading in, though, so that's not cool. Okay, Arshus, we're going to have to lead you around the longest possible way, because that Scyther is all over the place here. And check our guns. We're still manned and firing. Uh, I hear something firing over here. Yeah, that thing's opening up. We need to get some rounds on it. Damn, these things are dangerous, though. Ah, uh, stun and adaptive. Yeah, nice hit. Gotta save the game on that, eh? 
I'm down to that. I'm saving the game on that. So, Arshus, you now need to come here. And hopefully that other Scyther isn't going to spot you out there. It looks like it's heading back up. Wow, this is a long drawn out fight, eh? This is a hard fight, folks. This is a hard fight. Starvation, strange. Yeah, we got to change him out, so we need some fresh gunners here. Need some fresh gunners right now, man. Tiger, no. Oh, man, dude, this is bad. Spider, how about Spider? Is he a good gunner? Yeah, he's solid. Okay, so strange, we're going to clear you, prioritized. Spider, you're going to come man this turret right now. Um, Pony's probably totally exhausted. Yeah, so you're out. And we're going to get someone in to relieve you. Uh, I guess, can you shoot Satsuko? Nope. Uh, Georgette? Yeah, pretty good shot. Get her in. Nice and quick. Artie can keep working for a while. And now we'll check Schwartz's needs pretty bad so we'll take her off duty and we'll get Thrip here who can probably shoot pretty well yep Thrip can shoot so we'll get her on this and Rubber we're going to take a look at your needs and you are pretty rough up too so we're going to take you off and try to get another shooter in as well somewhere here maybe from over here Lachi can you shoot? No, uh, Beaver not really a teeny pretty good shot so, yeah, get in. And we'll save on that arrangement and hope we do okay with it, eh? Got those guys stunned for the moment, so maybe we'll have just time to switch guns before we get into further trouble. Oh, and Buddy down south here. I need him to start getting up into this area now. What a mess, eh? Hopefully we can send some more airmail packages these guys away. Hey, that one's down too. Oh, he hit the minefield. He took out our whole minefield and got shrecked with it. That's kind of handy. Three. I can't do anything about it. Ah, uh, they're back active again, the brutes. That was a decent shot. I can't do anything about colonists needs treatment right now. I just want to hit these guys up. we got to check on Arshi's progress here. Yeah, so we'll bring him right in now. Thank gracious we have auto turrets too. Strange has collapsed. That's fine. He can just chill on the ground. I don't know. We're getting low on shells here. Ah, oh, thank gracious. Gives us a chance. Gives us a chance, eh? Hey? They moo. Kind of neat. I don't think we're doing them much harm. That was, that's a good hit. I took one down. Nice. Okay, Arshi, gotta be checked on. Okay, so he can be undrafted. And just find himself something to wear there. I don't care about colonists, needs treatment. Georgette found no unreserved shells for steel MP mortar. I guess we're out of shells on one of our shell piles. But we're getting pretty good here. We've killed that, and this thing's probably getting pretty low on health. We might finish this off without losing any colonists. The thing's moving, but it's not there. It got stunned again. So hopefully we can get those shells loaded. Some dogs out. Oh, the eclipse ended. Yeah, hopefully we can keep this fire coming in on these guys here. And he's hurt somewhat, so, uh... Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, horse, you might want to frickin' leave. Tiger's decided to attack. That's not such a bad idea, but I'll take him out in a minute. Lachi, you got gun? No, he's another swordman, so... We'll take Tiger out as soon as that thing comes off stun, eh? But he is putting some rounds into it. Oh, he's taking it down. Sweet. Okay, so we can take everyone off turret. Let everyone go. So draft and undraft everyone. Everyone's going to have to take care of themselves. But we have done it. 
We actually took out the mechs. We gained another minigun. So we're going to put a shutdown bill on these guys. Luckily they have a switch. So once they're down you can do it. And we've got one... Is he dead or... Yeah, he's not a, He's not dead. So we'll add a shutdown on him. We're not going to try to pull the blades off. We've done that before, but is not done much. So that used up most of our stock of mortar rounds, but was actually quite successful. Um, I'm very pleased. And we have a new colonist. We have a lot of people really suffering right now, so we're going to have to let things take care of themselves. And we'll examine our new colonist very shortly here. Arshas, age 33, is sowing a strawberry plant. He's fitting in right away. We've got, hopefully, places to store these dead guys. We do have a bill on to destroy them, but I better make sure we have somewhere to store them, so... Yeah, mechanoid corpses go in there, so great. And looks like Scarlet just healed up pretty much. So we made it through an exciting and tough episode here, folks. We're planting our new batch of Devil Strand because food production was crazy. Here's our Devil Strand that's 47%. Gosh, it's slow. But we're going to make those bowler hats, folks. We're going to make those bowler hats. So let's watch how we're going in the kitchen here. Our poor sick colonists had one hell of a rough night, but everyone survived. We're A-OK. -okay, we made it, and we've got a new mouth to feed around the place, which actually, yeah, maybe I'll be unplanting that Devil Strand in a little while. So, guys, we will see you all soon for the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. This was a wild one. And we, yeah, talk to you all soon. Yeah, God, I've just compobulated. So, hope you had a good one. Hope you're having a good one. And see you guys all next time. So, bye for now.